In this video, what we're going to talk about a little bit today is the light seal and, and what really is the seal part of, of that connector. So um, we have this in a VersaLink um, model, which uh, covers the friction plug. And what it has, what's so unique, is we have a little Viton O-ring seal on the end of that. And what that's doing is that's going inside the transceiver and it snaps in and what it's doing is it's sealing on the nose of that connector and it's sealing on the side of that connector and it's keeping out moisture and dust and 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 the likes and it also is very good if you pot uh your boards and stuff like that because now you can have a a, a uh, your known area around that that, that LED that is not gonna have any of the potting solution on it. So um, let's go ahead and, and do one of these so you can kind of see what the, uh, what the real background is. So using one of our ultra low loss razor cutters, uh, and this is just a standard uh, one millimeter, 2.2 millimeter jacket fiber, we're gonna go ahead and, and strip off the jacketing. And with the jacketing off, now we can actually insert um, this particular, this is a metal version of this. This is the FF uh, uh, LS HP 1000, and it's it's good for most applications um, as it, it's com uh, it's compatible with any of the VersaLink uh, type uh, active components. So on the very nose of this, it has the grooves on the very end of it, so it will allow that O-ring to go. But it also allows you to swage the end of this connector, something that you can't do with our molded plastic version. You still get the same sealing function, but you don't get that sealing of the fiber itself to the connector. So uh, once you have that done, now you can uh, go ahead and crimp the back of it. So it's a standard 2.9 millimeter hex. So now this connector's got about 90 newtons of pull-off strength onto this cable. We have different colors of strain reliefs, if you're trying to do different channels and stuff like this. You can also finish this to length in one of our ultra low, low loss uh, finishing tools. And then once it's done, now you can just uh, snap this little, this little O-ring. I always suggest you just do it off of a, a, a clean surface, but now you have a finished connector. You have a sealing surface, you have a nice strain relief on the back, and overall it's, it's, it's a, a very good quality product. But the main thing with the sealing to recap is that the seal is doing its main job right at the area of the LED. So a lot of different varieties. We custom manufacture almost all of our stuff. So if you need something special, contact us and we'll see what we can do. 